Hi guys, my name is Philip. I'm the person behind Philip's origami instructions. This is a tutorial on how to make an origami windmill. It looks pretty cool and it is fairly easy to make, although it does get a little bit fiddly. So let's get started. You'll need one sheet of paper, I'm using 15 by 15 centimetres. So that white side up, and we're going to start off here by folding the diagonals in half both ways. Just get a nice big triangle here. And then what you want to do is you want to turn it over. <coughs> Now the coloured side should be facing you and you want to just go ahead and take all four corners and fold them into that centre crease there. Just take them and fold them up to there. Do the same with the remaining three sides. And then what you want to do is you want to turn it over and then just repeat those same steps again. So just take all four corners and fold them into the centre, lining it up with these two edges here. Do that with all four sides, just the same. Be careful when folding across these because it can go a little bit wrong there, it can rip if you fold too hard. So just make a good crease on them, you want to make a really good crease because this is pre-folding if you like. And then we want to just open it all up here, and we want to open it to white side up, so the white side is facing us. So make sure you've opened everything up, and I should just have your square piece of paper with this pattern on. And you want to just go ahead, and there's already creased there, but we're just going to make a door base. So by folding both of these sides into the centre, we may be reversing part of this crease along here. Just take them both and fold them into the centre. They may be a little bit off, but that's fine, that doesn't matter too much. And now what we want to do, using those creases that we made earlier, here, we're going to just fold down along there. Just take this here, and you're going to fold it down, just like this, and then fold all of it down, and then make a crease. Just collapse it like that, so you've gone from that, and then you just push that down like that. Make a really good crease, and then just do the same with this side. So just open these up, like that these edges here should line up with the end of that crease there. Then just fold down on that crease you've got going along there. Then just fold down, now your model should look like this. And now what you want to do is we simply just want to get the top right one and fold it up. And then fold the bottom left one and fold it down. So they're opposite there if you like. And that's our finished windmill. Now it may, things may be a little bit white here, that's perfectly fine, I don't know why that happens. Maybe my fold a little bit off, but hopefully yours will be slightly better. And if you're thinking of actually pinning it down inside your garden, and if you've got a windy day, well it's a sunny day here right in England actually. Don't know if you can see it. No, hold on. It's quite sunny out there, anyway. Um, so if it's a sunny day... Or it could be, well, obviously you're not going to do it when it's snowing, are you? <laughs> so you could pin it up in your garden, maybe put a little pencil through it, or whatever you want to do. Um, so, and the wind should blow it around, but it might not always work, because it has to be windy, guys. So don't go and try it when it's not windy. I don't think it's windy right out there at the moment. So yeah, now if you do actually blow it on the surface, then it just blows away from you like this. Hold on a minute. <laughs> See, it just blows away. And again, <laughs> don't think that's so fascinating. So that's why it's better if you put it on a pole and maybe leave it overnight. And you could actually decorate your garden with them if you want. You can make loads of different shapes and sizes, not shapes, sizes and colours. And that's our finished tutorial for today. It's a nice easy one today. Now I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again, as all, thanks again always so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.